Hey YouTube. So, what about here? Um, is what I wanted to be able to do now. There's a couple of ways of me doing this, and this is trying it the first way because this is the the only way I've got the parts for it at the minute. Um, ignore this bit here. This is. Oh, I may as well tell you what this is. Um, a little circuit that just shows a sine wave, but it's 90 degrees out of phase with each other, with itself, you know, so it's, so 90 degrees there, 180, uh, 270, and you can view it on a, a solar scope, and it looks pretty cool, but anyway, that's nothing to do with this, I just need this part of the breadboard. Now, I've got a little MOSFET here. I can't remember if that's the 840 or a IRF 630. Oh, it's the 630 because of the casing. A 250k potentiometer. A 13 volt Zener diode. And a 10k resistor going from the gate to source um, of this. Um, what I wanted to do was on my solar panel. It has a um, maximum voltage of 22 volts and I wanted to be able to control a couple of fans because at the moment I've had, the, I've had these fans connected up in such a way that I just connect onto the, the wire going into the, the solar charger from the solar panel and it puts the fans on full blast admittedly I've got a couple of um, a couple of resistors now these are 12 volt fans wide in series and my solar panel maxes at 22 volts so that's okay but it's still blasting away when it's 16 volts uh, and there's no real heat being generated at 16 volts um, and so I wanted to find a way I could just get it to, to stop but come on automatically when it gets above 16 volts for the voltage really I want to be doing this on temperature and that's ideally what I want to be doing and I've got a little LM35 uh, coming and I'll build a circuit with that but just for just for now I've decided to, to do this on voltage um, so yeah so a little demonstration so at the minute it's over there on 16 volts I don't know if you can notice but my that power supply is gone um, I sold it I made a hundred pound on it I've got a new toy coming I can't wait till it gets here um, and it's a great piece of kit that works on batteries again and I can charge it and run it directly from my batteries so I'm really happy about that um, and the sacrifice is brilliant because one it'll make me get my transformer back and put that back into that linear supply there which is 0 to 30 0 to 5 amps and uh, current control voltage control linear supply and of course i still got my switch mode and i've still got my powered by the by the sun jobby so anyway back to this so first of all i was running it without uh without a heat sink and it was getting like you know 57 58 doing on the old temperature gauge there and uh, so i put a little heat sink on and that was good i left it running for about 40 minutes and it wasn't really reaching above um wasn't really reaching above uh, 29 30. so that's pretty good the ambient temperature in here is about 21. feeling a bit posh today got the heating on <laughs> Yeah, so at the minute as you can see there's no activity on the on the fans I don't know where I'm flapping this camera about I'm sorry about the mess look at it oh dear another hour to tidy up in a bit um, so right so now I'm just going to turn this up I'm going to be a bit crude about it I'm going to go up to like 18 19 volts which is you know, the sort of like the working oh a little bit high the sort of like the working area and as you can see there's one fans come on but that one hasn't so if I turn it up a little bit more and go up to like the, the 20 volts, 22 volts, which this will uh, 
Oh, it's going to show me up now to be a. It was doing. I think it's because I've done it so slow. It wouldn't normally go up and down so slow. So if I just take that down and then go up, like if the sun were coming out, or I cheated. I turned it above the 22. It, it won't get above 22, but it started off that far. I mean, I just got a bit more fine tuning to do with the um, with the part and. Like I say, this isn't the greatest way of doing it. I do lose quite a bit of a... Uh, well, this is the best way I can show you. <laughs> this is working. Uh, I do lose, you know, a good part of the air that comes out uh, by having this pot on. Because if I... But it is blowing. But if I, if I turn the pot off, We've got a lot more blow. I don't know if you can hear it. There's a, there's a lot more blow. Come here. Uh, with it being, you know, run, run directly with no, with no control over this. Yeah, I can turn that back down again. If I just reset this back down to 16 volts, because it's at 16 volts, I don't really want it on it's not warm enough to be on and uh, and, uh, and yeah so I can readjust that here oh, wrong way again I've, I've, this is set so I turn it up for more resistance turn it down for less resistance it's sort of counter that's what I'm trying to do there. So the fan's still on there, so I need to just do that so it goes off. Now you can see one one stops before the other. That's at 16.2. So I turn this back up again. So we oh damn it. So we get it kicking in. There we go. We got both fans. I'm gonna turn that back down again. I don't want to overshoot it. If I can actually want this to work, you know, it, it would be nice. But I know that I'm, I am going to have to go temperature control really uh, to get it to work properly. So this time I'm going to go up to 22. Oh, I'm going to try not to jump over. That's it. There we go. And we got both fine anyway. Here's what we want. So yeah. Pretty simple circuit. It is, it is basically just putting a pot onto this, um, uh, so we're just going to run through it. Voltage coming in. Uh, that's obviously the voltage for the uh, for the drain. Time we got the voltage coming into the into the pot there. We come out of the pot into the gate. Forget about the resistor and the tra and the zener diode just for now. Um, and then we've got the um, source. Which is going to get down to ground, but it's going to get down to ground through the two fans, which are in series, um, and then that's going to go onto the uh, the other side of the pot to to the ground, and that's it. And then there's just that resistor. The 10k resistor is to try and stop that capacitance between the gate and the source, and that is in a diode is to try and stop the the voltage from going above um, 20 volts plus minus. Because if you notice, I keep taking it up and working it at 22 volts. And that diode there is a 13 volt diode. So, it baffles me when I try and think how that works. Because I try and think of it in electrons and it's all I just tries to bend my brain a bit too much. Um, but that actually clumps the voltage. So it won't get any higher between those. I'll figure it out. And, and the temperature, you know. It, it's quite happy with the um, you can't see it probably yeah, with the um, heat sinker the heat sinker, it does get a little bit warm I'm not going to try any clothes on it but it does get a little bit warm but it's a, a nice little easy um, variable control for oh, I suppose notice for fans I don't know if it'll actually, oh, maybe it would have been, I don't know. Anyway, so there we go. I just wanted to show that. It's because I've been prattling around with it for a while.
and I'm going to make another one but I'm going to make another one which is temperature controlled to do exactly the same job but better anyway cheers watching guys